Palos Verde student charged in connection with a gang killing in South LA faced a judge today. The CBS 2 News team is working this story tonight. Cameron Terrell was in court for a preliminary hearing, and CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in downtown LA with all the new details. Dave? Well, Pat, this is a very strange, bizarre case, if you will, in many, many ways. First of all, the uh, young man is facing a murder charge, even though he didn't pull the trigger, accessory after the fact. The getaway car, according to the prosecutors, was a Mercedes-Benz. He comes from a very wealthy family, and among his best friends, he said, were gang members. 18-year-old Cameron Terrell lives in a 4,000-square-foot home in Rancho Palos Verdes, travels the world on vacations with his parents, and his parents have enough money that they posted $5 million bail so that he wouldn't have to remain behind bars while he faces a murder charge involving a gang-related shooting in South L.A. He did admit that he was driving the car at the time. The getaway car, a black Mercedes that carried away two juvenile suspects who are accused of gunning down Justin Holmes on October 1st, 2017 at the corner of 78th and Western in South L.A. Despite his affluent background, prosecutors say Terrell ran around with known gang members and made South L.A. his second home. He drove his car out of the alley and made a right turn on 78th Street. To pick up the two juvenile suspects after the shooting, according to testimony today at his preliminary hearing. Cameras were not allowed to shoot Terrell in the courtroom today. He was dressed in a black suit and stared straight ahead. His mother, father, grandmother, and grandfather sitting behind him. The prosecutor played a video that he says was taken by Terrell on his cell phone. Six days after the murder, he says it shows one of the suspects kicking down the candles at the memorial that was set up for Holmes. As if done since his arrest, the Terrell family refused all comment today. Terrell bailed out on October 19th, $5 million bail, $500,000 of that in cash. It's expected to be a very quick prelim. Tomorrow, the prosecutor is expected to wrap up as of the defense, and then the judge must decide, will he face the murder charges? And another question, will that $5 million bail still hold? That's coming up tomorrow. Back to the studio. All right.